with SCE, one of the things that we ask of our couples is to put things into categories, right? So a lot of times people come out and they'll say, okay, well, we have like 60 songs we want for our wedding. Sure. Well, like if you break out how many songs you can fit in an hour, you know that 60 songs is a good portrait of your overall wedding experience, right? right? So what I like to do is say, okay, well, if you have 60 must plays or 60 requests, let's break them up into categories. Let's do, let's say, 10 or 15 must plays, no matter what. These are the tracks that have to get played at my wedding. Then let's put another universe together that says, play if possible, right? Right, right, right. Hey, if you're getting there, if you're feeling it, if the crowd's into it, maybe go into this world. And then the most important universe of songs is the do not play or don't even think about playing right, or right. falling, right? And that's like, <laughs> no electric slide, no this, yeah. no that, or whatever that might right, be, right? Right, right, right. You know, so we want to make sure that we put things into categories to help us clearly understand what's going on. And I also think taking the time, a, a huge tip to a bride or group to be would be taking the time to sit with the person that's actually gonna be at your wedding and make sure that they clearly understand your vision, what you're into from a music perspective, so that they can make the most out of your celebration. You get one chance to rock for five hours, right? Or yeah. four hours or six hours, depending on where, where, where you're located, right? You wanna make sure that whenever you play a song, you're playing the right song, right? So someone might say, oh, I love country. Well, country means a lot of different things. Or, sure. hey, I'm Spanish. Well, okay, well, Spanish is it covers it's, it's a lot. It's like saying, yeah, I'm American. And yeah, that could yeah. be like hip hop and rock and EDM and this and that. Spanish, it, it's regional, right? So like each country, it's a different thing. So like, where are you from, right? What are you into? Do you like salsa? Do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like, like what I get? Do you like, yeah. Machete, then, you know, yeah. people, yeah. You know, and then in it. that, like, which, which artist did you, does your family care for, right? There's questions that talented and, 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 and experienced people will ask a bride and groom to be. And if they don't, it's really the bride and groom to say like, okay, well, I like this stuff. And you should always ask and expect more of kind of the experience, right? You do this once and entertainment is a big part of the day. You want to make sure that couples have the ability to kind of detail their thoughts and communicate their thoughts. Yeah, and, oh yeah. And and just, I think as you can see, Jay, you know, he's not just going to show up and just play some, play some tunes. There's a lot more that goes into DJing than just getting behind your, your decks and, and playing music. Uh, clearly, he's going to take your ideas. He's going to work with your ideas. You're going to give them stuff that works. I, I think one of the things that we're really good at is connecting with our couples. We're really fortunate to work with some super cool people. I like to say at SCE, we do super cool things for super cool couples. Yeah. And, and one of the things that we do a lot is I think consult with our couple, spend a lot of time with them, get to know them, understand what they're looking to do. And if someone has kind of a not so great idea or something that given like history, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. We know that this might be kind of sensitive. This might not go over well. Well, like how can we work together to either accomplish this in a different way or straightforward tell someone, hey, yeah, this might not be a good idea. You might which I think some couples they don't they really don't know like something obviously that's what we're here to help you with uh, and that's an experienced DJ that's been in the business for a while is going to help you through all these steps. Jay, let's talk about song requests, man. Oh, <laughs> oh the, 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 the I song requests. I cringe. It already. does. I'm it already makes cringing. Me, I gotta scratch a little bit. <laughs> Stop here. Song requests are huge. Everybody's got a song they want to play at a certain time. People they're having drinks. Can you, can you play, uh, hold on, it goes something like this, and they try to hum the song to you as you have ear monitors and you're trying to mix. Let's talk about song requests, how do you feel about this? Song requests are, they make me cringe. Um, <laughs> but I think song requests can be a very bad thing or they can be a very good thing yes. for a wedding. I think using your judgment is <laughs> the most important thing, right? Sure. I think also if you're playing the right stuff, and people are enjoying themselves, they're not gonna be requesting songs. Usually people request songs if you're way off the base, right? right? right so that's right. the one view. Yeah. The other view from actually doing an event, if someone takes the time to come over to request a song, as long as it's within fair play of where we're going for that couple's incredible vision for their incredible celebration, a song request can be a good thing. Most times, more often than not, I should right. say, <laughs> the requests usually veer off into a very awkward area, which if played immediately, could impact the celebration in a negative way. So for us at SE, we leave that option up to our couples. If someone says, yes, I want you to honor requests, 
awesome. Right. Happy to do that. Yeah. But if someone comes up and has a really, 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 really not so good request, right. <laughs> I'm probably not going to honor it because a bad song placed in a celebration can disrupt the entire foundation of what you're trying to create, being an epic event that people are going to leave and say that was the best wedding I've ever been to. Right.